हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एस वी यूनियन हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद जोग्राफी फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स लेसन नंबर टेन नेचुरल रिसोर्स पार्ट टू स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ह्यूमन ऑक्यूपेशंस ह्यूमन बींग्स एंगेज दम सेल्स इन वेरियस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज to fulfill their daily needs these activities are called as occupations as we know students human occupations are divided into four categories the first category is called as primary occupation and secondary occupation which we have already done in the previous video now we are going to start with page number 62 now look at the pictures c d and f you will see milk collection and sale of milk transport of milk and sale of milk products respectively all these activities are related to the products of primary and secondary occupation many a times these occupations provide complementary services to the other other two occupations such occupations are called tertiary occupations students do you know what is the meaning of complementary services complementary services may be defined as a service that comes with a product for a support they are the services that are offered in addition to any business course service and assist the customer in using that service such occupations are called as tertiary occupations these occupations are complementary to all other services these occupations are called as service occupations this include transport of goods loading and unloading of goods and sale of goods etc students do you know what is the meaning of sale of goods sale of good means the buyer is a person that who wants to buy something from the seller and seller is a person that sells out something that a buyer wants to buy to purely define sales of good it's a contract in which goods are sold and bought it means whereby the seller transfers the property in the goods to the buyer for a consideration called price that is sales of good now look at picture e here you can see a person testing the prepared milk products this person is testing the quality of the products to do this work the person must have some special skills this is also a type of service but this service is not an ordinary one it requires special expertise and therefore such services are called as quaternary occupations for example if we see in the quaternary occupations scientists doctors lawyers teachers are those people that need special skills and that is why they are included in quaternary occupation not all the services are directly related to the primary or secondary occupations those of a driver knife grinder policeman the postal service etc are also included in the quaternary occupation small activity for all the students i know you are very much aware of all this answers so let's cross check who examines us when we fall ill yes the answer is correct the doctors examine us when we fall ill second question who teaches us who checks our examination papers it is the teacher who checks our examination papers third then who prepares the designs of buildings it is the architects who prepares the designs of buildings and last question who produces machines and looks after their maintenance and repairs it is the engineer who produces the machines and looks after their maintenance and repairs so students look at the picture in the figure 10.2 carefully we are learning the classification of occupations 
See if you can answer the following questions related to sugar production. Now, as there is a combination of all the pictures in figure 10.2, I would like to separate it and show it to you. So, students keep observing the first image that is A, the sugarcane field. The B, the people or the farmer are harvesting of sugarcane. Number C, transport of sugarcane. D, sugarcane being collected at the factory. E, inspection and maintenance of machinery in the factory. F, that is processing of sugarcane juice. G, sugar production and quality check. H, sacks of sugar being carried. And last, I, sale of sugar. Students, let's try and answer the following questions. Classify the occupations from primary to quaternary. As we can see, primary occupation is harvesting of sugarcane. Secondary occupation is sugarcane being collected at a factory, then processing of sugarcane juice and last the sugar product. So, in the tertiary occupation, it will come as transport of sugarcane, sacks of sugar being canned and sale of goods. So, what will be involved in the quaternary occupation? Quality check and inspection and maintenance of machinery in the factory. Second question is, which raw material is used in the secondary occupation? Answer will be, sugarcane is the raw material used in the secondary occupation. Which is the finished product obtained from the secondary occupation? Sugar is the finished product obtained in the secondary occupation. What are the series in the tertiary occupations? That is, answer, transport of sugarcane, sacks of sugar being carried and sales of goods are the services in the tertiary occupation. Fifth, which picture is related to quaternary occupation? Can you name the occupation? The answer to this question is picture G is related to a quaternary occupation. The occupation is quality testing. Now students, a small activity for all of you. Think of more such chains of occupations. Draw their pictures and classify them from primary to quaternary as above. But let's think, what effect does nature have on our occupations? Think a little. Give a thought to the following issues. Discuss them in the class. Write two paragraphs about it. That is, there have been no rains at all. That means the situation is drought situation. Or a storm strikes. There was an earthquake. Untimely rains. Good rains. Excessive rains and floods. All of a sudden, a volcano erupts. A tsunami hits. What is going to happen? So, you have to take care of everything over here. Primary occupations like agriculture can be totally disrupted if there are no rains or excessive rains, while good rains will usher with good agriculture output. When we receive good agricultural yield, it will have a positive input on all secondary occupations which rely on agriculture. It will bring about all-round growth in both agricultural and industrial sector. Natural calamities like storms, earthquakes, volcanoes and tsunamis can have an adverse effect. Various occupations, it can bring all the primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary occupations to a standstill. Occupations related to production, storage, distribution, etc. will be greatly affected as rescue and rehabilitation of the people and reconstruction of the damaged cost becomes the priority. So think and please write the notes. In this pandemic situation also we all are facing the same problems. We have to come out with all the solutions. This is how we classify the human occupations. Different occupations are practiced in different countries. 
in order to ascertain the level of economic development of a region and make proper planning of the human resources for development. Through these occupations, economic transactions occur within a country and between various countries. These transactions decide the country's production of various goods and their annual income. This, in turn, is used to decide the extent of the country's development. Observe te figure 10.3. This pie chart shows the percentage of manpower engaged in various occupations in the countries of Bangladesh, United Arab Emirates, that is UAE, and Turkey. Each pie chart shows the percentage of primary to tertiary occupations. Answer the following questions on the basis of pie charts. Which country has manpower engaged in primary occupations? So the answer to this question is Bangladesh is the country which has more manpower engaged in primary occupations. Second question. Which country has more manpower engaged in secondary occupation? The answer is Turkey. Turkey country has more manpower engaged in secondary occupation. Which country has more manpower engaged in tertiary occupations? The answer is United Arab Emirates that is UAE has more manpower engaged in tertiary occupation. Which country has almost equal manpower engaged in all the occupations? The answer is Turkey has almost equal manpower engaged in all the occupations. Countries which have more manpower engaged in tertiary activities are considered to be developed countries. While countries which have more manpower engaged in primary activities are considered to be developing countries. Well, my dear students, as you can see it in the picture above, that yellow color is given for developed countries and orange color is given for developing countries. In the developed countries, North America, Europe, half part of the Asia and Australia comes under developed countries. In the developing countries, South America, Africa, the Asia part is coming under developing countries. Human occupations are directly or indirectly dependent on natural resources. Human beings engage themselves in various kinds of activities to fulfill their needs. These activities are called as occupations. First one, primary occupation, refer to the occupation that are directly related to nature. Man has to collect and use the things that are available from the nature, require a lot of manpower. They are heavily dependent on the availability of natural resources as the returns are quite few as compared to labor inputs. For example, if we see agriculture, fishery, mining, animal husbandry, forestry, lumbering, etc. Secondary occupations refer to the occupations that involve manufacturing of finished products from raw material. The returns are high compared to the labor input in secondary occupations. Perishable materials are used to obtain long-lasting items. Machineries is used on a large scale. That is why the products manufactured from secondary occupations have better quality and greater value. For example, from raw cotton to cotton cloths, from sugarcane juice to sugar and jaggery, from milk to milk products like cheese, butter, ghee, shrikhanda, etc. Tertiary Occupations Tertiary occupations refer to those occupations that are supportive to the primary and secondary occupations. These occupations do not produce any finished products or item. These occupations provide services to the society. People need to pay a cost to avail of these services, such as office jobs, trade, commerce, 
banking, transport and communication, which help the primary and the secondary sector in their respective fields of activity. Around 5 to 10 percent of the workforce in the United States and even Japan is engaged to the primary sector, especially agriculture. As against this, 64 percent of India's total labor force is engaged in agriculture. This huge workforce has contributed significantly to the country's total income known as gross domestic product which is also called as GDP. The last occupation which is called as quaternary occupation. Quaternary activities refer to the activities which involve people having some special skills or expertise. This includes industries like the information technology, information sharing and generation along with research and development. This also includes services like education, financial planning and designing. This sector uses modern technology to research, develop, train and provide information to other industries. It is essential to classify occupations in order to ascertain the level of economic development of a region and to make proper planning of the human resources for development. So students, I hope so students, you have understood this lesson and all your doubts must be cleared. Thank you everyone.